bags, as you probably already know, are extremely, extremely, extremely hard to get. I'm going shopping or window shopping. My heart was like racing. I'm gonna go and try and get a bag in Hermes. Tick tock, tick tock. Don't know if it's gonna be possible, but I started getting undressed. I was like getting hot. I'm gonna try again. I already tried on Saturday and it didn't work. <gasps> Why are these bags making you so mental? I just got back to the hotel. Ah! They put them in these white bags. Hello my lovelies, welcome to another video of mine. I hope everyone is doing great. I'm filming this video in another background, another place. It's a video that is very close to my heart. <laughs> because judging by the title, you already know what this is about. So if you did already press on this video, it means that you are interested in seeing my latest purchase. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, subscribe right now. Follow me on Instagram. I have two accounts, Krisha and Krisha Style. And let's connect on these social media platforms. I am absolutely so very excited to share this new purchase. <sighs> I was in Paris last week. I also filmed a vlog on my trip to Paris and the super amazing hotel where we stayed at. And I had done a wish list of the things that I really wanted to buy in Paris. Of course, my number one on the wish list was an Hermes bag. And uh, once I got to Paris, I decided that I'm going to check all of the Hermes stores and see if I can manage to get a handbag. I had no purchase history in Paris. I knew that you had to um, book an appointment and that you cannot just walk in like that and uh, hey, uh, do you have a bag? This was going to be my sixth Hermes bag of this kind. So I was really wondering like, what do I want? Do I want something more classic? Do I want a bright colors because summer is coming? What would I like to add to my collection? And then I thought if I'm going to be able to get a bag, I think it's best to try and get a classic one since the classic ones are really really the hardest ones to get and uh, you have to wait so long for them it's easier to get a color that comes with the season because there's a very high demand for these kinds of uh, colors of course everyone wants to have a classic color that works with everything in their Hermes collection so I tried with the appointments That didn't work out. I went online, I went on the Hermes website, I tried to book my appointment two times and it has been declined two times. So then I told myself, I really, 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 really want a bag. It's the best time to get a bag right now because there's not that many tourists and Paris is not that, that crowded, it was quite empty. So I told myself like, even if I got rejected from the appointment, I'm just going to simply try in the store. I went Saturday in Hermes on uh, Rue, Rue Faubourg. Cannot even say it. It's their biggest store. And when you enter a store in Paris, it's not like any other Hermes stores. You enter and they ask you immediately what is it that you would like so a sales associate can help you. As far as I kind of got the vibe, you cannot just enter and like wander around and uh, just chill and see whatever you want. It's kind of you have to go in with a purpose or you can just tell them like, I don't, I don't want anything in particular. I'm just here to browse. I assume that would be okay too. And so 
I went on Saturday and it was crowded and there were so many people, it was full, full, full. I managed to speak to the person in charge of all of the um, appointments and she told me, we're sorry, we're closing in an hour and I still have 14 more appointments to go. So I was like, okay, well, you know what? I'm gonna try Monday morning, first thing. I mean, it's pandemic, it's Monday, it's in the morning. Let's hope no one's gonna be there. So I went to the Hermes on George Sunk and I, um, you know what? This video is actually going to be about the bag itself. And I'm gonna do another vlog where I'm going to tell you how I got the bag exactly. So let's go to the unboxing and look what I'm wearing. Maybe you can already start guessing the color, the hardware. Ta-da! <sighs> I'm so excited to share it with you guys. I already wore it for a weekend in Kstad. So I repacked it myself, but trust me, it's like new. I took a video of how it was packed before, so I can really do it exactly the same. Uh -oh. Hello, Hermes bag. They now have changed the ribbon they use. It's much larger than uh, the one they used to have before. Ah, oh, it's hard to pick a color in Hermes when you basically think you can have any option that you want. So I'm curious to know if you would have any option to pick any Hermes color, what would it be? And would you pick a Birkin or a Kelly? Just tell me Birkin, Kelly and the color. I'm so, so, so curious. Uh-oh. All of the Hermes products tend to come in a box like this. Even if you buy a belt, a hat, a scarf, whatever it is. I cannot wait to reveal this beautiful baby. They come super nicely packed. Finally, like this is just all soft and new. Hello, my dear. Inside of the box, you can find the beauty. The beauty that is hiding and sleeping on a nice little cushion. All of the Hermes uh, Birkins or Kellys come with this little cushion. Inside of the box, you can find two dust bags. In one of them, you have the lock, which I'm not gonna show you right now because I want you first to see the color of the bag, and the long strap. Then you have a raincoat for the bag, which is very, 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 very practical. I cannot stress on how important it is to protect your handbags from rain and so you just use this put it on top of your bag and then whenever it rains your bag is absolutely protected and you also have a manual on the Hermes leathers in the bag you can also find the ticket that is very important for you to keep because it has the leather information it has the color information and the size so in case I mean, in years, maybe you're just going to forget all the details. And you also want to keep it to have the price. You also want to keep it in case you want to sell the bag. It's going to be easier to sell the bag when you have the, the ticket. Let's reveal the beauty hiding inside of here. Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> it smells like new and even this is strong, it smells like new. I <laughs> I swear, these bags for me. Ah! <laughs> Hello there. I haven't even taken the plastics off yet because I was waiting to do that with you guys. So this is my new beauty. Take a moment. To just look at her. 
I wish you could also smell her and feel her. But now you understand my outfit and the matching. Guys, this is like, I love this purchase. Even if I didn't really know what color to pick, at the end, I told myself that it's best to have first all the classic colors. And so I tried my luck and I asked for black. And I didn't really know if I wanted gold or silver. And honestly, I had no clue what I really wanted, but I just knew that I wanted black. Let's open it up together. As you know, you open the handbag from this little lock. It's very, very, very stiff right now. Oh, okay. Very stiff. It's so hard to open because of the plastics. Let's start by opening up first. Oh my God. The feeling to take this off is incredible. Let's take this plastic off right here because uh, I do not want to have it on my bag anymore. Some people keep the plastics to protect the bags. I keep them just on some areas of the bag, but I try not to keep them because I, first of all, it doesn't look good. And second of all, it's not, I don't think it's very good to keep the plastics for too long. It might stain the hardware. Let's do this. Okay. And I am going to also remove the plastic over here on the inside. Okay, goodbye plastic. These ones for now I'm gonna keep, even though I don't really like how they look. On the inside, they all have this uh, air-filled uh, plastic in order to keep the bag very stiff. But right here, we already have a very, very stiff bag. This is a Kelly in size 28 in black color with gold hardware. And this is a Cellier style. We have Cellier and Retourné, and Cellier is usually stiffer. It usually comes in this leather, which is Epsom leather, and you can see that the stitches are not inside out. Retourné has the inside out stitching, and the bag itself is very, very, very stiff. I mean, it's hard. Look how hard it is. You, it's not flexible at all, like, at all. It's very, 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 very stiff. I have another Kelly in size 28, which is in a softer leather. And so I realized that in the 28, in the softer leather, you can fit much more than you can fit in this one. The bag is a beauty. It works with everything. I was honestly a bit worried, thinking that maybe this wouldn't work with more casual wear because this stiff kind of style is more formal, in my opinion, but honestly, it's a classic. I was also confused if I should take the size 28 or the size 25, which is one size smaller. The size refers to how big the bag is over here. But in the end, I thought that 28 would be the best size I could get in this color. And black with gold is elegant, is timeless, and it's a piece that's going to stay forever with me. You can see the lock as well, which is also gold with black and the long strap. The Kellys have a long strap that you can attach to them from here. So you can wear them in two different ways. You can wear them with the long strap or without. The bag is so hard to close compared to the retourné styles. It's much, much, much more stiff, like much more stiff. But I'm gonna get used to it. And I, I really love the texture of it. I love how strong it is and it just stays in place. And because of the leather and that it's very, very, very grainy, the probability of it scratching is very low. I mean, you saw how I was scratching it with my nails and nothing happened to it. All of the Hermes Kelly bags come with this one 
strap attached to the bag. You open it this way, which I showed you, but uh, it's so stiff. You see, that's the problem with this leather. It's very hard to open. Oh. And you have the Hermes written over here. The Hermes over here. The inside of the bag is quite simple. It looks like this. You have a zipper pocket and you have two other pockets over here. One and two. It is quite big, but because of its stiffness, you cannot fit a lot, a lot of things inside of it. On the bottom, you have the little feet for the bag, so you don't scratch the leather. And the stitching, as you can see, so beautiful in the cellier style over here as well. All the other retourné handbags, you can pull the sides out. For this one, mm, not really possible to do that. And also it wouldn't look very pretty. So this is not as versatile as you can only wear it in this shape. This one, honestly, I found myself wearing it opened this last weekend, which I cannot say I really like, but uh, it is what it is. It's also a very good bag for the evening. It's very elegant, it works perfectly. You take the straps off and it just works. But to open it and to close it all the time, uh, well, okay, it works, but it's much easier with the retourné style in the more uh, flexible leather. So now it really depends on what it is that you're looking for. I personally didn't have a choice in terms of the leather. I asked for a black with gold hardware in size 28, and this is what she gave me. When I saw it, I was a bit like, mm, is it gonna work with my style? Because I'm not a very, very elegant person. I am more like edgy. At night I'm elegant, but during the day I'm more casual, fashionable, but yet chilled. And then when I saw it in the mirror, I said, it's going to work. It's a classic. And what, I'm gonna refuse a black Kelly in size 28? No, of course not. No, I'm gonna get it. And, well, I didn't have to wait. It was just meant to be for us to happen. <laughs> okay, guys, this was it for today, for this video. Let me know if you liked it. Let me know if you like my new baby, my new handbag. Do you like the black color? Do you like how stiff it is? Or mm, would you prefer the leather that's a bit more soft? Let me know as I'm very, very curious to know your opinion on it. If you like my content, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, like this video, and I cannot wait to see you on my next one. Have a good day and a wonderful rest of your week, you guys. Goodbye.